It is Facebook Live, the Ask Jason Question Series. Thank you for tuning in. It's Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's when we do the Facebook Live. And what we do is we take questions from people, how to strategically uh, run your firm in a better way. You can send them to info at thrival.com. And Reggie sent us a question. He said, what do you mean by make up new services? Like what does make up new services mean uh, sometimes I talk about that in webinars, but I want to say thank you, first of all, to, do you see the bill.com? It's kind of washed out here. Thank you to bill.com. They are a sponsor of the Ask Jason Question Series. Every week they come in and sponsor us, and they're always raising the bar uh, on their platform. This a, Now they have an AP enabled, this an AI enabled uh, AP platform is pretty amazing. They've kind of, they've redesigned the whole platform, and what you can do is find resources on how to use Bill.com with your clients at that link. <laughs> I can't point to it at that link. You can even go in there and find a checklist, a checklist that we built in conjunction with Bill.com. Uh, pretty amazing. It's how to actually onboard a client into Bill.com. Now, how would we know? Because we've been doing this uh, for like eight or nine years. So thank you, Bill.com. It's an amazing platform. We can't be a virtual firm without you guys. And of course, they've redesigned the whole user interface, easier to find buttons, um, and international payments. It's amazing. So thank you, Bill.com, for sponsoring the Ask Jason Question Series. So Reggie, back to your question. What do you mean by make up new services uh, that is something I say a lot. It's a, it's a factor of innovation, right? Being innovative. Uh, that's a goal of our work as any kind of business owner, as firm owners for sure. And I don't mean make up something other than accounting, tax, payroll, or audit, right? I do think you should be selling a new thing you've never sold before every year. I think you should sell one or two things you've never sold before. We're pitching some stuff in our firm right now that we've not sold before, and it's going to be transformational. Now, it puts us in a position to have to figure out these innovative new services, and it keeps moving us forward in knowledge. It helps us continue to learn and grow more and more every time we package new services in a new way. And that's what I'm talking about. It's not creating a new service. It's packaging things in different ways, specifically as an advisor does, specifically in the way the client needs to consume them, I guess is what I'm saying. So we may say, here's a package. Uh, a common package for us is a back office package where we'll use Bill.com and some other products and we'll do everything for the client. We'll become their financial partner in-house, so to speak. And that's packaging it. And we're saying with that comes uh, weekly stand-up meetings or monthly financial presentations to your to your executive team. These kind of things are part of the new services and we'll call it like a controllership or a back office package. And so you should be constructing and creating these things in ways that really uh, create immense value. Now, what you can do is you can sell accounting or you can sell taxes or you can sell payroll, but individually those are more and more becoming commoditized. So they're falling down the chain of value they have less and less value attached to them, uh, and they have less and less prices attached to them too. But if you pull them all together, package them, and you say, hey, client, you need this whole package together, that's a new valuable way to submit these services to their client. The cool thing about creating a new package, creating a new service, and giving it a name, that's a key when you create a new service, give it a name, because humans can attach value to a name, when you do that, guess guess what? A client can't compare you to anybody else anymore. And that's where you want to be positioned appropriately in a marketplace as an expert. As an expert, when you're positioned in a place where nobody can be compared against you, your prices can't, can't be really compared. They are what you say they are, so to speak. Now, of course, it's your job to convince the client that they need that thing that you sell. Um, so, so offering new services really puts you in a place of expertise uh, and it really places a new responsibility and burden on you as a firm to pull off these new innovative services too. And you will continue to keep growing and learning year after year if you make it a practice to sell 
one or two new services that you've never sold before every single year. It's pretty important. Now, as you get become a larger and a larger firm, that becomes more and more risky, right? Because as you sell new services, rolling new services out into a whole team with processes and new software and leadership of people around the the consumption and the pushing and the execution of these services, it becomes a bigger deal. So typically you have to offer new services in a slower way as you become bigger because your team and your processes become bulkier. So the owners have to slow down a little bit when they push new services through a firm. So Reggie, I hope that helps. Uh, how, why, what do you mean by making up new service? And I just want to let you guys know, again, shoot us a question to info at thrival.com and we'll be happy to help you answer that strategically so your firm can keep growing and adding new value to clients. Thank you for tuning in for the Ask Jason Question Series. Bill.com, you rock. Thanks for sponsoring. We'll see you. Bye-bye.